my way to the ATM and then to Aroma to get something to eat because today we are going camel riding. A bunch of us are going to the desert, more towards the Dead Sea to ride on camels. It's gonna be fun. As you can see, we have stopped at a place called Al Mog, and the camel excursion thing is like right across the street. So everyone is getting coffee. I'm really happy in the desert. The, the desert is my happy place. Jonathan! We're standing basically next to the camels inside a Bedouin tent. They also have stuff for sale. I've actually been here in one of my vlogs. I will link it up here somewhere. We're gonna cross the street again. <laughs> Apparently it is on the other side and not on this side, but um, we're starting to feel the heat. It's actually hotter today than the days previous. I think it's 27 or something. Hello, Mr. Camel. Hello. Yes. Does it like a pro? How do we feel? <laughs> First time for me riding a camel. Riding camel. I waited seven years for this. Seven years? Yeah. I didn't want to ride just any camel, you know? Like, I don't want a gas station camel. I wanted the real experience. The real so, experience. Oh, Lord. Here he goes. <laughs> So this is how we hold on to it. She's holding on to these front bars and I'm holding on to the middle. Not right. super easy. <laughs> oh no. She's crying. Sure, strap Just strap the babies. Here we go. Here we go. Kids are leading the camels. We feel very secure. Oh my goodness. We made it. We made it. We made it. We, made it. <laughs> we are on a freaking camel. <laughs> Are you liking the experience so far? Question time. What's your favorite part about the desert? I like how quiet it is. You hmm. feel like you can hear yourself. Like you're almost in a, like a voiceover recording booth. It's so quiet. You, oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you just sense the stillness. And I like the beauty of it. The, the tan color against the blue sky. Mm. Yeah. It's sort of weirdly like echoey, but not really. Like the echo is just your voice within your own head. That's kind of how it feels. It's sort of strange. Abby, you're on a camel. How does it feel? It feels exotic. Exhausting? Exotic. It's so exotic. exotic. Tell me, how much do they pay you for a living? Ooh, pet pet. So I decided to be apart from everyone else for a second and just, I guess, remember what this desert means to me. A lot of my most recent memories here are with my dad. And it's actually 
it's very precious to me to know that I got to spend time in the desert with my dad. It was literally also his favorite place like it is mine. And getting to experience it again and again and again in life, now without him, but also with a lot of people that you love or care for, it's a really special feeling. Have you ever crossed the road on a camel? First time! First Here time. Stop oh, for camels. Stop for the camels. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We survived. How was it? Um, I give it two thumbs up. She what gives it two. I'll give it a one and a half. One and a half. Yes. One and a nub. <laughs> one of the last bone in my body that's not hurting. Yes, we are all stretching. Stretch. We are gonna it. We are exhausted. We are not built for the wild. Uh, we thought it was an exciting experience. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I think in my tourist ignorance, oh. I assumed it would be slightly more comfortable, but I got used to it. <laughs> and uh, it was nice, but it was nice. Is it a two thumbs up? Two thumbs. Two, two thumbs. Three if I had a third one. Wow. Uh, I am going to run errands in the city center. I had a bit of time between the end of my work and the sun setting. So I thought, you know what? I just need to get out of the house, get some sun. What I need to get is makeup. That's one. And I will tell you guys when I get home for what reason. It's a very exciting reason. And then the next thing is I need to go to a hardware store and try and find some kind of solution for Buttercup and his toys, like sponge balls that roll underneath the bed and I can't get them. So join me running some random errands. So in Israel, you have at least one or two main pharmacies that everyone knows about. One is called Super Farm, and the things are maybe more expensive there because if you can find a pharmacy or a beauty shop that doesn't have one of those brand names, then you get things much more for cheap. You can't always find everything you want there, but you can find quite a bit. I'm gonna try and buy things there first. If I don't find it there, I'll head over to the Super Farm. So the thing with me is, I took a picture of... So this is the Super Farm, right off of Ben Yehuda. It's actually open till quite late, I think about 10-ish, 11, something like that. So you guys should know that, that if you're in a pickle, you can always come here. Okay, so here's my challenge. I took a photo of the bottom of my makeup, but not a photo of the makeup itself. I do not, for the life of me, remember what brand it was. You can't see here anything that looks like it. You can sort of tell that I'm not one of those girly girls that have all their makeup and know all the brands and have all the brushes. Like I realize I've sort of been fooled because what I want is here. And it is the shape I thought it was. It's just that the testers look round. So I think I found it. <laughs> that took me way longer than what I care to admit, but I got it. Why is everything so expensive? So I don't know why, but I think places like this are very intimidating for me because I never know what to buy. I mean, if you want to buy one thing, like look at all the options. 
there's so many options for the exact same thing. And unless you do like a lot of research, you might just be wasting your money because you're buying something that you don't actually know that you're gonna like. So makeup is really not my thing. I am not used to vlogging on the streets, so this is actually quite weird for me. And I'm trying to act like no one sees what I'm doing or cares what I'm doing. And you know what truth is? They don't really care, but I'm just realizing how self-conscious I am. Okay, now I'm gonna go find things for Buttercup and see if I can manage. Oh, I'm also looking for rods that I can put inside my closet to extend my hanging place. A lot of you guys have given me advice on that before, and I'm hoping that I can find a solution for it today. I'm in the shop and here are the solutions that he offered me. This one is like 20 shekels per meter. This one is 15. And then he has two like plastic options that look like this. And I'm actually thinking that the plastic one won't work so well and that this metal one will work better. I chose the metal and now they're going to cut it for me. There it is, he's helping me. I was heading home and then I realized that I'm lacking fresh fruits and vegetables. I'm gonna take a little short walk to a supermarket. So sometimes in stores like this, you can actually find American brands. Not every place has these things. Like I have never seen French Toast Crunch here in Israel at all. I'm home. Well, one thing I didn't share with you guys is that Buttercup was on the bed and he took down the canopy. So that's something I have to super glue back on, right Butter? What? Thank you. Okay, so this is the exciting news that I wanted to share with you guys. A producer for Shelanu TV, which is an evangelism, messianic Jewish internet channel, if you will. They produce a lot of different shows for non-believers, explaining about the faith, encouraging people in the faith. And she saw my YouTube channel. She said, hey, let's talk after the holidays about a potential show. Long story short, they offered me a show on Shelanu TV. The premise of it is very simple. There's this guy who's an evangelist and he goes on the streets of Tel Aviv and he asks people questions of faith. I then, as the hostess, give what we think is biblical truth. So it's only just a pilot, but I'm going tomorrow to Tel Aviv to shoot it, and hence the new makeup and buying a whole bunch of stuff. Evangelism is not maybe my strong point. I can still... Ugh, butter's on the counter. Buttercup, you know you're not supposed to be up there. Butter. Hey. So I'm gonna go to Tel Aviv tomorrow to their studios and I'll of course vlog as much as I can and just share the process with you guys. I think I'm going to choose my outfits for tomorrow. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna try and sleep early for me and Buttercup. We just wanted to say thank you, right Butter? I wanted to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed. Thank you to all the viewers. I know that this channel is very small still, and yet I get so excited when anyone subscribes or comments because it really does mean the world to me, and hopefully I can continue to create content that matters about life and Israel and whatever it is that I see. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. You're welcome here. Be part of the family. And if you're not new here, then welcome back, and I will see you guys in a vlog very, very soon.